Hello everyone, my name is Lorenzo Jose. This is going to be my video submission for George Brown College. I'm going to be applying for two programs, video design and productions and film productions and directing for extended reality. I'm going to be putting timestamps below, just five of them, just so anyone scrubbing through can easily find the subject of what I'm going to be talking about in that particular part of the video. Just a brief history of myself, I was born and raised in the Philippines. I had an aviation background, an airspace background, so I flew gliders, worked on planes and hangars and anything mechanical I pretty much did. And I've had a very direct path to joining the Canadian Armed Forces, but I dropped out in college to pursue a business. So I started a business. I had a total of two staff members, and we made lookbooks, portfolios for makeup artists and models, made YouTube videos for YouTubers, did weddings, and set up creative shoots. And I loved it so much. Um, but I feel like George Brown's going to be my next step forward to really hone in my skills and build a community around film. Having said that, I'm going to be talking about my film. I mean, a film that really opened my eyes when I was young. So young, young like Pixar and Disney young. So I'm going to be talking about the 1999 film by the Wachowski sisters, The Matrix. So The Matrix really opened my eyes because the directors told a story in a very cool and creative way. So I see this movie as very philosophical and very religious. And they told that in a very interesting and cool way. There's also parts where I liked where the director shot the movie in a very creative way. One of them being putting a subject right in the middle, green screen all around, and setting up uh, SLRs all around the subject and stitching them all together, timing it with a computer to shoot each camera at a very particular time and stitching it together, making a scene. And I found that really cool. I still use it to my films today. Uh, I, use, I use the tones and and those techniques to my films. And I feel like that it was very inspirational to me. I'm gonna be talking about two films for the two different programs that I'm applying to, titled Lost Note and True Blue. So we're gonna be talking about Lost Note first. So Lost Note is a character that I wrote for Walter, the protagonist. Um, I directed, I edited, and it was scored by my friend Chris. Chris is very, uh, talented musician, shout out Chris. Uh, he helped me through a lot of the film. Uh, this part of the film is based on what a person would do right after a breakup. So trying to contact them back, um, going through self-destructive tendencies, being alone, and just being in your head. So there's a couple ways I shot this film. Um, through distance and through proximity. So I used long focal lenses like 200s and short lenses, 17s and 35s, just showcase his thought. So long lenses when he's in deep thought and kind of calm and just thinking, but I tightened up the shots when he's going through self-destructive tendencies and have anxiety and going through his head and his head's very chaotic and I try to mimic that through the score. So I told Chris to ramp up some of the parts of the score and I matched it with the tempo cutting and matching it. And it was really fun making this film. Uh, we all had fun making it. The second film I'm gonna be uh, talking about is titled True Blue. So I directed, I casted, I screenplayed, I edited and the music in the background is by the Dirty Beaches true, and titled True Blue. So True Blue is based on a true story by LJ, the protagonist. Uh, her friend was lost tragically through police violence. So I tried to focus all my energy on LJ. So I told LJ to really focus her emotions and show it to the camera. So I didn't use a lot of movement, very little movement. There's some tight shots but a lot of them were stills. And I focused on the music, the tempo, and the tone of the movie. So very dark blues, dark greens, and dark reds. Just to sh remind people that it's very tragic and it's very sad. And it was very surreal making this film. Everyone had fun, but everyone was also emotional. And I feel that this is one of my proudest films. One of the scenes that I really liked in that film was when I was on the call with LJ, Ahead of the car, the fo I was in a following car and I was on the phone and I set up the camera in front of the Uber driver that I casted. Um, and I told LJ to stick her head and her whole body out of the sunroof and scream to show emotion and anger and 
all those emotions building up and I wanted her to scream. Now, having said that, what are my goals and what am I trying to get from this program? So there's a few things I want to get from this program. I feel like the biggest thing is building up a community around people that love film and make films. And I do have people like that in my life, but they aren't as, I should say, uh, motivated to do so. And I feel like having people in the same building with the same passions would really help me a lot. Also, I want to learn a lot of post-production work. So screenwriting, writing, and a lot of productions. Uh, I do lack in that aspect where I would just wing it in some of the shoots. And it always goes well, but I would love to have my idea on, on paper and stick through with it all the way. Um, and that's my video submission. If you liked it, please check out some of my films. I'm going to be link it, linking it down below. My name's Lorenzo Jose. Goodbye for now.